I am going to let you know about a very interesting mathematical topic. In this topic, I will relate five mathematical constants. These constants are natural constants and these are taken from various sections of mathematics. Those are 1, 0. Okay, the next one is pi. It is obtained when the circumference of a circle is get divided with its diameter. This constant is a universal constant. That means if we divide the circumference of ear ring with its diameter, or if you divide the circumference of a bike tire with its diameter, or the circumference of a circle having the radius of arc with its diameter, then the ratio will become same. Okay, and the ratio is a rational number having the value nearly equal to. 1.415 and so on. Okay, the, the next constant we get when we take the natural logarithm log x equal to y. Here there is no base, you can see that there is no base in the indicates that and the base is e. Now the question is what does the e means here? E means here in such a way that you can write e to the power y e will be x. Okay. This e is an irrational number, and the value of the e is 2.71828459, and so on. The next one I am going to deduce, and this constant is it is a complex number. Why I am saying it is complex because uh, it is something like this. If we just try to take the root over of Not minus one, one, then what will obtain? Nothing, because uh, the root over of minus one is not a real. It is, has no real world existence. So, it is something that is beyond the real world. That means it is complex. Okay, and this complex is taken as i, which is called iota. Okay, the iota is the uh, something we can say that it is the uh, way to represent a complex number. So, uh, if we want to represent a complex number z, then we can write that z will be x plus i y, which is which is a complex number in which x and y both are real numbers and i is the complex one. That means uh, it is the formation of a complex number. Okay, and now we can also write the x plus i y in the form z equal to r e upon i theta because in the complex plane if this is z okay if this is z and this is the x axis and this is the y axis then if we if we relate this z with the origin then we will get a length that is r and if it make angle theta then it will become uh, too easier to look at that the x part that means x will be r cos theta and the y part that means it will be r sin theta so we can write that x as this function that means now z becomes now z becomes r e upon i theta now my question is that is there any way to relate these five constants Yes, I have a very interesting way and z equals to r e to the power i theta. Okay. Now now if if r equals to one and theta equals to pi, then what will happen? Z will be e to the power i pi. Okay. Now I can write it in the uh the obvious form okay now it will be cos pi plus i sine pi okay it will be minus one and the sine pi will be zero so i into zero that will the answer will be minus one so i get that z equals to minus one it means z plus one will be zero indicates this one is a complex number that means i am just taking a complex number and i am just getting a real number okay isn't it that means it is a it is a bridge in between the complex and the real world okay and this equation is also called the god equation in 
mathematics means it is a, it is very important equation it is by i pi plus 1 equal to 0 okay thank you for watching my video